Hello and welcome to Exiles. Today I want to break down how to craft a plus two chaos wand for a hex blast miner really easily. Figured I'd do this in a separate video because it requires a little bit of explanation. I didn't want to bog down the first video on the character. Now, it's really pretty simple. The concept is with these three fossils, metallic, shuddering, and corroded, we eliminate basically every possible prefix but plus one spell, plus one chaos, and the main percent spell damage. That means Essentially, whenever the item and item will roll for six possible affixes, we will have a plus two item with spell damage on the prefix that's guaranteed. Now, this is only the case if the wand is item level 82 or lower. I can showcase this real quickly to you simply by opening up Craft of Exile. If we have a wand level item level 82 or lower, 83 is when you get chaos damage, which would brick this uh, setup. So that's why you do 82 or lower simply by selecting going through shuttering you eliminate some mods you go through corroded you eliminate some mods you see we're hi highlighting mods that we're getting rid of and then metallic only mods left plus one two and spell damage right there that's what we're going for so pretty simple the odds of hitting a six mod item is i think either a one in 12 or a one in six i can't remember 100 percent, but i'll just give you a quick showcase of what it looks like i also would recommend going for basically an omen or a prophecy wand or other wands with just decent base crit if they have 7.5 base crit probably usable too point is you're going for a fracture like something like this something like crit multi something like increased crit chance or spell damage if i showed you real quick here this is the type of mod you're looking for crit multi crit chance crit for spells spell damage max level 82 count of one prophecy wand you could do omen wand it doesn't really matter this will work fine too maybe omen wand since it's not the top tier base maybe you can go for the ideal mod which is maybe crit chance for example and get it for cheap and still have a really good a weapon because you're losing about 10 percent spell damage but maybe it's a lot cheaper sort of thing this base maybe is also picking up trends because these ones are kind of expensive as well i guess so point is shop around for decent bases and find one that works for you in your price range don't get uh, caught out spending a bunch over a fracture because frankly, I'm going to show you, you can do it on a regular wand. You don't necessarily even need a fracture to do this, but right now I'll show you real quick on the fractured wands. And there we go. First try. So in this scenario, basically, if you don't have base percent crit chance, I think it's really important to get it. If you're low budget initially, you hit the plus two stop there just just have a one with plus two you get a little bit higher budget you can afford some more fossils then you want to keep going and you want to try to go harder on this basically the next step if you want to go for a higher level wand is to annul you have basically a two out of five to hit a suffix if you hit the spell damage on your prefix pool you could do a beast craft to do suffix to prefix we'll see what happens we got rid of one of the plus levels so this is a scenario where okay we missed that now we need to cre keep crafting with fossils so you take your fossil and you go hold on that needs to be a rare item you just throw it at it you say okay not a six mile item you keep going you keep going you keep going the most common item outcome is a four mod item and then a five mod and then a six mod so a lot of times you'll just keep rolling keep rolling keep rolling keep rolling you'll hit plus one again okay whatever can't really roll work with that point is if you hit the plus two no shame just keep it just be happy with it once you get higher budget that's when you want to try to go for basically annoying off an extra mod to get a bench craft plus two spell damage all those sorts of mods all in one item but ultimately the plus two is going to be plenty that being said i do want to showcase on an item without a fracture and what item i would use if i wasn't going to necessarily go for a fractured item say all the fractured bases get too expensive well i would actually instead of an omen wand I would actually be inclined to use an assembler wand or there's a few other different base names for it but basically it's the wand that has gain charge per every six seconds essentially with trickster's frenzy node with a bunch of duration this pretty much means if you are in a boss fight with phases the boss will go into phases and if 30 seconds goes up you won't lose your charges because this will keep them active and it will get you endurance charges in the build which is some extra fizz reduction which is great for extra survivability so if we we're doing a wand that isn't already fractured it would look something like this hit the plus five or the plus one we're going for plus two and it's a similar process of really ultimately what we're trying to get is base percent crit chance plus two and then holy i hit t2 spell damage i was not prepared for that i was i might <laughs> i might use this to replace my current wand to be honest okay moment of truth 
Moment of truth. This is a big annul to hit. If I can hit this at all, I can actually upgrade my wand because I'd rather have this base than the base I have currently, if I'm being honest. No! <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. So, yeah, whatever. That's how it goes sometimes. So, point is, you get the you get the base idea. You roll for the plus two. And then the idea is you want to get a suffix off so you can benchcraft on percent crit chance. You can find that over here. Critical strike chance. It just is big for your base crit based on Sandstorm itself. So hopefully you enjoyed the guide for how to craft a plus two wand. I want to see if I just hit one more just in case. I have a few more resonators. I might as well throw them out and see what we get. And it looks like no dice for us. Unfortunate. Man. Hitting T2 spell damage. Whew, that would have been crazy if we know the suffix. Because that actually would have been an upgrade for my fractured one I have here. I went with fractured spell damage because it was a basically a guarantee way to get good prefixes but then i would have to spend more money trying to craft the suffixes and it was never going to be on a special high space because the high space aren't going to come fractured and i had to settle for a prophecy wand but if you want to go higher end eventually doing a high space will be uh better in my opinion because endurance charges are nice and that additional guaranteed sustain on charges even when you stop fighting a boss for phases it just feels good so that is Basically the wand craft, hopefully that makes sense, and hopefully it gives you a good idea of, hey, the gear crafting, although stuff like this wand might look intimidating craft-wise, you can, you can get pretty close to the wand power I have here with a lot less currency than you might think, because you can guarantee the plus two, which is something specific to chaos spells, you can't do it with other, like, fire or or physical or other elemental stuff it's just chaos that has this easy of a time crafting their wands versus other skills they don't get it so easy so that's uh basically a benefit of our build and then the rest of the gear when it comes to our stuff like the chest piece like the gloves like the shield say you can't afford it zero's reflection just getting a fractured base with basically fractured percent es or fractured the hybrid flat mod for example if we had Oh, I'll give an example. This is a fracture I found. That is a Supreme Psych Spiel. This is like a best in slot base. Really, if I wanted to craft this, I would say I was going to go quality it, but I don't have any of those. So I'll just showcase it. It's pretty simple. You just take out dense fossils. I actually have some over here, I think. I have left over. And you would simply just take dense fossils. If you already have one fractured good mod that's a defense mod, and then you throw like dense fossils on top of that, the likelihood of you being able to end up hitting other good defense mods on top of it are quite like significantly higher i would say in terms of rolling your own shields i say that and okay there we go i finally hit a defense mod or i hit two but not really high rolls but you get the point you just throw a few dense fossils at it try to get decent uh evasion energy shield type of thing and you can use that until you can afford it zero's reflection if that's too expensive at zero step ideally you want the crit chance um mod it is very good for our build so I'd recommend, honestly, maybe Farming Lab yourself if you can't get the enchant for an affordable price or just using other boots until you can afford to get the crit chance on your Azuri steps for basically helping us get to Spell Suppress Cap. So, yeah, that's just a short look at the character. 100% you want a uncursed hit ring, stuff like that. You want a sandstorm, building blocks of the character, but hopefully this gives a good idea of assembling gear for the character. This character has been phenomenal so far. I'm going to post another video update on it in the coming days. So thank you as always for watching. Take care, exiles.